bars. She already said, oh. no matter what the polls say. Oh, yeah, she's doing it in, in his <laughs> <Yeah>. sleep. <laughs> We go for the food, we stay for the fun. The Blasar County Fair is this weekend and it's full of activities for the whole family and no one likes funnel cakes more than Kevin Hernandez. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey now, hey now, okay? I like other things, but yes, funnel cakes are good. <laughs> so here at the 82nd Placer County Fair in Roseville. Now, um, this morning, uh, it's kicking off with the Junior Livestock Auction. Here to tell us more is Dave Henry with Roseville Meat Company. So tell us a little bit about the auction and why it's a big deal for the fair. Well, the auction is uh, kids all over the county, mm -hmm. and a lot of Placer County is rural. They're raising their animals to sell at the livestock auction mm -hmm. to raise funds for their college funds, mm -hmm. to buy animals for next year. They go around and uh, buy hogs, mm -hmm. lambs, goats, and they raise them throughout the year. They mm -hmm. take care of them. They do everything with the animals. Mm -hmm. Then they bring them here with the support of their parents and the support of merchants like myself mm -hmm. and sell them at the livestock auction. Uh, I've been doing this for 35 years, mm -hmm. buying animals from them. We want to support the kids in the community. They support us as local merchants. Fantastic. So actually, we're going to talk to one of the kids here. So um, I don't know if you remember Cody, but Cody, we were with you a couple months ago when you were sort of getting ready for the fair. So now you're here at the fair getting ready for the livestock auction. So tell us a little bit about how you're feeling. Uh, very excited for the auction. Mm -hmm. I'm really hoping to be able to break even and have a little bit of spending money left over. Fantastic. And so, I mean, it really, there's a lot that goes into raising an animal for the fair, but especially a steer. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, you really have to make sure you keep on uh, your diet with them. Mm -hmm. Make sure you feed them the correct amount of protein so they can get a good finish. So you get good meat to your buyer and you get a good oh, a carcass rating. Yeah, and so it really teaches you a lot about, you know, just again, raising a steer, just what goes into it, the discipline that goes into it, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, so what are you looking forward to most? Um, being able to get some money from it and have a little bit of stress off my shoulders. And doing it all over again next year, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yep, fantastic. Well, best of luck to you. So, Dave, uh, really quickly now, so we want to talk about the fair hours because um, the fair opens, so the livestock starts at 10, is that right? Yeah, the auction starts at 10. It'll run four to five hours, so there's plenty of time for people to come out. Perfect. You can register, buy an animal, come in as a group and buy an animal together, uh, and it all supports the kids. Mm -hmm. So uh, come on down to the fair. Yep. And it, it'll be a great time. Yep. Her weather's perfect. Absolutely. Weather is great today. So, again, the fair, um, the, the uh, auction starts at 10 a.m. today. The fair itself opens at 5 p.m. And then it opens at noon tomorrow for Family Fun Day. So we're going to stick around the fair because coming up, we're going to head over to the pig races, which we all know we love a good old-fashioned pig race. So we'll send it on back to you while we stick around at the fair. All yes, right, we do. When I was in Bakersfield, they said you can ride those pigs too. So try that. <laughs> Did you ever ride a no, pig? No. I tried.